Happy New Year everybody! I know that 2021 is being welcomed with open arms by almost everyone after the rocky year that 2020 was. Today I want to share with you my goals for the new year and the word that I'm using to guide me. A lot of people see New Year's resolutions as a time to set goals, and goals are measured and specific, and that is great if you have a specific um, thing that you're working on, such as you want to lose a certain amount of weight or you want to save a certain amount of money. And I have found that for myself, being sort of an all or nothing type of person, um, that a word for the year actually works better for me. And so I take one word and I blanket it over the entire year and that sort of helps me to refocus if I do get off course. And so my word for this year is progress. Now, it's sort of cliche, but I'm looking at it in my mind as sort of progress over perfection. And this is what I tend to do being that all or nothing type of personality. I tend to start a goal and see that I want that I want to meet and start working and making progress towards it. But then if I start to fall off of the the path, if I have a specific goal, I will just completely give up on it if I can see that that goal isn't being met at that time. And so with a word, I can, if I veer off the course, kind of go back to that word in mind and say, okay, I'm gonna refocus on that. And so I'm being really gentle on myself in 2021 and looking at that word progress as a way to encompass a variety of aspects of my life, including my health and wellness, my focus on my passions, and in general terms, our own lives here at the cottage. So I wanna give you some examples. In the spring of 2020, we were completely insane in terms of getting things done around the house. We had so many projects that needed to get done before we could close on the bank loan. And we were constantly working. I mean, we were putting in so many hours, just tired every single day. And I did film much of that um, that timeline. However, there was zero seconds available for us to be able to edit that video and get the content out to you. And so in the past, I would have typically just said, well, that time is over. I'm not going to just, I'm not going to bother with it. That film is just wasted basically. However, I think there's value in the footage in a teaching sort of way and also for our own memory's sake, just to be able to look back and see how far we have come. And so part of my progress over perfection is maybe those videos aren't going to be quite as glamorous as I had envisioned them, but I do want to be able to get them out to you. And so I will plan on going back to the log of videos and getting some of that content out in video format here on YouTube and also over on my blog to share with you the entire process of us building our home. And so after all of that frenzy of the spring and we had finally closed our house loan, we were left with sort of our blank slate, which is what I did the house tour on. Very basic, we didn't have much for furnishings. Um, we still don't actually. And so in 2021, another part of the progress is that I want to be able to share with you how we take this house, this, this blank slate, and really make it fine tuned to our needs and our styles. Um, add those personal touches. I have some ideas for gallery walls. I have some ideas for painting projects, upholstery projects. We'll possibly get some new furniture, do some work in the boys' bedroom, and again, Typical all or nothing me would say that I would only share those spaces with you once they're 100% complete. But I've found that actually watching videos and vlogs of people who are doing the progress part of it, that's actually really entertaining to me to see. They can kind of go back and show the before and the during and then finally the after. Some of these spaces in our house I don't see being done for years, honestly, because I don't want to bring things into this house unless we truly love them. So there are going to be furniture pieces that are missing and um, paint colors that aren't quite right throughout the time that we live here. And um, I think that's part of the fun. And so I want to be able to share that with all of you. Another area where a lot of people tend to focus their resolution for the new year is their health and well-being. And while I don't have any specific weight loss goals or anything like that, I do want to make progress in my ability to eat cleanly 
and prepare healthy meals for my family. And part of that has to do with gardening. And I did plant my very first garden last year. I might go back and do a video or a post about that um, just to share that whole progress. Um, but this year I see us getting a bit more detailed with it. We learned some things last year that were helpful and some things that we will not be doing again this year. And so working on the garden, working on recipes that are healthy, and I plan to share all of that with you as well. I would also like 2021 to be the year that I focus on making progress in my own personal passions. Now, 2020, with all the weirdness and the craziness that it was, did bring to life one of the greatest goals of my life, and that is the designing and building of our own family's home. Now, that was something I had dreamed about since I was a little girl, and to see it all come to life was a true joy and blessing for me. And since that time, and through the tour that I gave here on YouTube, I've had people contact me and ask if I would work on custom designs for them. I have done a little bit of work for people that I know personally. Um, I don't see myself as doing custom design work um, as a whole because it's just too time consuming. However, I would like to focus more on my true passion of design and that is for small and simple home design. And that is what I consider our home to be, a small and simple home. And I would love to make a series of videos and blog posts on the taking of a sketch, an idea, and really bringing it through the process of creating a usable floor plan with elevations and some 3D work. Nothing that you could bring to the builder and say, this is exactly what I want to build, but to just sort of give you ideas of some different home design and concepts that you could use um, to get your custom design done. Um, again, I don't really know how that's gonna work. Um, but I would like to show the progress of that instead of just showing you the end product, which um, I sort of did that with our own house, with, the, with Arrow Hill Cottage. That is sort of how the blog and the YouTube channel started, was I was sort of showing you the progress of the design of our house. And a lot of people seem to resonate with that. And so I would like to share that more on a general scale where it's, um, it's a house that could be used by lots of different people. This house is more specific to us. Um, again, I don't know how it's going to work. I don't know how it's all going to lay out, but that is definitely something that I would like to do in the new year. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope it gave you a little bit of insight into the things I plan on focusing on this year under the umbrella of progress over perfection. It's going to be somewhat freeing for me to share with you all the raw and to not be so worried about perfection and details and things like that, just to share the journey. And that's really what life is all about. If you'd like to follow along, please subscribe to this channel. You can also find me over at my website or on Instagram for more daily, day-to-day -day things. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.